Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about Oracle Sava REST adapter. In that, we will talk about what is REST and we will create a POC on how to expose a REST service by using GET method. So let's start discussion on the REST. So what is a REST? REST stands for Representational State Transfer. It is a architectural style for building the loosely coupled web applications over the internet. Okay, so RESTful applications use HTTP requests. So these are the URIs. So URIs are nothing but a uniform resource resource indicator. So these these URIs are locate the resources on the server by hosting the web services. Okay, so uh, by using REST, we can perform the thread operations create read update delete so post is the insert operation get is the retrieve operation put is the update operation and delete the delete operation okay so rest is very handy to use and lightweight and very fast rest is very easy to implement and it is highly preferred among the developer community okay so rest supports multiple data formats like it will accept the plain text JSON, XML, and HTML, HTML, but the most popular format is the JSON format. Okay. So, generally in real time scenarios, we are going to use the REST below scenarios like uh, get a list of customers, get a new customers, get a customer details. These are the different, different kind of scenarios. For every scenario, we have a REST API provided by the client. So, here our requirement to start a POC is create a PL SQL procedure. So this is our procedure uh, which will accept the employee as in parameter and, uh, and return the full name as the output parameter. This procedure already created in my database. Okay, let's start with the project. Let's create a project. Fine, new project, create a server project okay click on work give me any name rest rest service demo click on next select empty composite click on finish okay now we are going to call rest service so you can drag and drop the REST service from technology area. Otherwise, you can click on the exposure services and select the REST service. Okay. Give any name. Click on next. Select the resource path. So, I will say give the resource path as get, get name. Okay. This is the our full path. It is a URI. Click on OK. Now we are going to create a method. It is a get method. Okay. Select the HTTP web page get and request. We are going to create a parameter. Our parameter is p employee p employee id. Okay. So we are going to select type as integer. Employee id is the integer, right? So we are going to select the integer. Okay. See, this is the runtime property rest dot employee dot employee id which we are going to use in the next step okay click on this okay click on finish now our rest service is ready now we are going to expose the database adapter so go to external references click on right click database so db reference db reference pl sql you can name it as a pl sql procedure okay Click on next. So this is the JNDA name. So I have already configured this JNDA name in the WebLogic server. Click on next. So you can see the couple of, couple of operation types. I will choose the operation type as the college stored procedure. Click on next. Okay. Browse. So here our our procedure is the get full name. Here you can see the two parameters. One is the input parameter and another, another one the output parameter. Click on the OK. Click next, click next, click next, finish. So now our DB adapter is ready. 
so now we are going to drag and drop the bibel process to the component palette i will give the name as the bibel process for time being i will select the no services define service later click on this okay now uh, i will i will wire the bibel process to the rest service okay similarly wire the bibel process to the database adapter okay click on save so now now we are going to design the flow double click on the bibel process i am i am drag and drop the uh, receive activity to the here okay this receive activity receive the employee id from the rest services so i will na name it as receive from rest okay so i will wait to the rest service okay click on the create instance okay this is our first instance so we need to enable it otherwise you are going to get a error select the rest method okay here we are going to create a variable so i will create a dummy variable okay select the type as integer click on okay 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 for storing the values purpose we are going to create a couple of variables these variables are going to use in the further process okay, i am creating one more variable employee id input variable select the type as integer click on okay okay i am going to create one more variable to capture the output value json object output i will set the type is a json it is a string click on okay apply okay close okay double click on the receive receive uh, receive activity go to the properties you have to select the property in the earlier set we have created a property test that carry that employee id right so we need to select this one okay so we are going to capture the employee id in the employee id input variable click on this click okay click okay okay then we need to invoke the db service use the invoke activity here so by default inv invoke activity uh, will create a uh, input parameter output par parameter by default okay right name it as invoke db okay by to the db adapter okay invoke db here you can see click on the see this is the input variable created automatically click on the output click on the plus symbol click on this one. okay okay so we need to uh, drag and drop the reply activity uh, this reply activity reply the final output value to the test services so we will name it as the uh, okay uh, reply to uh, reply to rest okay select the rest services okay get method select the json this is the final output variable okay okay click apply click on okay so once we receive the, the input variable from the receive activity we need to assign to the db uh, adapter so we need to use the assign activity here okay so assign activity is nothing but it is used to copy the variable from one variable to another variable 
for small transformation we are going to use the assign activity so we will name it as a uh, assign db okay uh, double click uh, double click on this here okay we will map the employee id variable to our procedure input variable okay this is the input variable okay click on apply click on okay save this similarly once once invoke the db we will capture the output again i am drag the assign activity here assign to reply double click on this so this is the output variable it is a full name we are going to assign to the json this is the final output variable we will map to the json object output apply click on ok ok save this now we are going to deploy this project rest service demo right click on this deploy deploy next 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 click on the next click on next finish our deployment process started let's wait a few minutes okay so in the building in building progress uh, if you get any errors you can show, you can see the errors so all validations passed now okay all validation are passed and the process now we are going to uh, rest service demo project click on this okay uh, test the rest service now we need to provide the input as employee id so i am giving 100 test web services now process is started see here you can see the uh, output uh, in the json format uh, this is the our final output thanks